Number 55. At 1 atm and 25 degrees Celsius, NO2 with an initial concentration of 1.00 molarity is 0.0033% decomposed into NO and O2. Calculate the value of the equilibrium constant for the reaction, and then they give the reaction right here. So if you guys have been with me forever, right, we're in chapter 13 now, you know that I'm going to write this out, right? So let's just make it a little bigger. We got two NO2 gas, and this comes to equilibrium, I see the double arrow, with two NOs, and that's a gas, plus O2. Beautiful. Pretty centered. Pretty centered to my standards. Beautiful. Now let's see. At the end of the day, we need to find that value of the equilibrium constant, right? We've got to find a number for the equilibrium constant. And the equilibrium constant, remember, those are capital K values, right? So in this case, there's either two of them that we've learned in this chapter. There's a KC or a KP. Which one do you think we're going to find? Well, they did give me a molarity here for the NO2. They said that initially we have an NO2 concentration of 1.00, so we got a concentration. We're going to find KC values. So let's just put the uh, KC formula on the screen. It's right here, right? General formula, which we will turn into a specific formula in a little bit. But now I'm just going to add some more information. Remember, when we use this formula, we've seen this time and time again, if you guys are on the playlist, right? Now, the thing is, is that only equilibrium values allowed in here. So when we do find out the concentration of the products divided by concentration of the reactants, these numbers can only be at equilibrium. But the only number that they gave me was a initial concentration. They did not state that this was an equilibrium concentration. This one molarity is the start. It's initial. Can I use the one molarity in here? No, I can't. It's not an equilibrium concentration. So that's the question here. How are we going to get an equilibrium value? And more specifically, how are we going to get equilibrium values for all of these? Well, that comes with our handy dandy chart called the ice table, right? Now you might know it as the rice table. Some teachers or professors like to use rice. Me personally, I like to use ice. All you got to do is just set up a ta uh, table and just say I, C, E. The rice comes from the R and R stands for the reaction. But you, normally I just put the reaction up and then I just say, you know, I, C, E. Okie dokie. Now let's break this chart down. It's a three-tiered chart in which you're going to have basically numbers for your I value, your C value, and then your E value for each reactant and product that you have. So let's just fill in what we got first. Now I stands for initial. So that's another key thing, guys. If you see the word initial, you're automatically jumping to an ice table if you're in, you know, this chapter in equilibrium. Now let's see. They said that we had an NO initial concentration of one molarity. So I know that I have this number right here, right? Initial for NO2 was one molarity. So I'm going right for it. I'm going to plug in 1.00. Now, when I use my chart specifically, I don't like to use units. Just going to get me confused. When I like working with numbers, I don't like to see units. I know that I have the right unit because if you're using concentrations, KC, only molarity is allowed in here. Since they gave me a molarity value, I'm good to go. Now, let's just finish up the initial column for NO and O2. Now, we just have to kind of read between the lines here. They said that we started with NO2. Did they give us any information of what we started with with NO and O2? No, they just said that NO2 had an initial concentration of one molarity and it decomposed. So at the start, initially, did we have any NO or O2? No, we didn't. So if I don't have anything, I got zero. So that, that changes the I values for this. 
Okay, now let's go down to the E. E stands for equilibrium. Equilibrium. Now this is the, probably the most important part of the chart because remember, the KC formula, only equilibrium values are allowed. So once you have your three values for your NO2, NO, and O2, you're going straight to plug into this equation. But now the thing is, how do I get those equilibrium values? Well, let's go back. It says NO had an initial concentration of one, was decomposed 0.0033%, right? And it decomposed into this. So it seems like on the reactant, uh, sorry, on the product side, we made these guys. And on the NO2 side, we had to drop, right? It decomposed. Now, if this is how much decomposed, what does that mean about in terms of being left, right? If this is what is not there anymore, how much NO2 percentage-wise is there? Well, I could just basically take 100 minus this value, right? So if 0.0033% is not there anymore, that means that um, we'll say 100% minus 0.0033% is what is remaining. So let's see what that number is. 100 minus 0.0033. Okay, now I'm not going to round here because it seems like they're being very, very specific. So I'm going to say that 99.9967% is left of the NO2. And it's left at equilibrium. So if I started off with one molarity... And at equilibrium, I have 99.9967% left. I basically can just multiply these numbers to figure out what it is at equilibrium that I have, right? You're just basically solving for how much of, you know, what's 99.9967% of 1. So in this case, this equilibrium value, and maybe I will, you know, make this like this. All that this is, is you're just going to say, okay, we started with one molarity, and I'm just going to multiply by 0 0.99967. Uh, Do you see that? I turned this into like a decimal percent, I divided this by 100, and then I just times by the initial, and that's how much is left. It's literally the same number, 0 0.999967. Okay. So let me just actually make this a little bit bigger. So we got one equilibrium value, right? If 0.0033% decomposed, this is how much is left for the NO2 at equilibrium. Now let's go to the change. How did I go from this to this? C stands for change. It's the change from what you started to the equilibrium. How did I go from one to 0.999967. Well, just like we said before, we had to have dropped. So it had to be minus how much? Well, you could treat this as a formula, right? Let's just solve for x. Now, 1 minus x equals 0 0.999967. And all you would have to do is basically, you know, plus x to get it positive and then subtract this number, right? So if I just do that, and if I just do 1 minus that number, let me see, 1 minus 0.999967, I get 3.3 .3 times 10 to the negative fifth. Okie dokie. Now, this is used as a ratio to get the equilibrium values for the other products. So just like before, if this got rid of, right, if this decreased, it's a minus, I know that the products had to have been a plus and a plus. 
Now it goes by the ratio. This change is with the ratio depending on what the coefficients are. Now look here, guys. You see how there's a 2 coefficient for NO2 and a 2 coefficient for NO. They are the same. So it's like a 1 to 1 ratio. 2 to 2 is the same thing as 1 to 1. So if you're minusing 3.3 times 10 to the negative fifth for a 2, and this is the same number, I'm going to add 3.3 times 10 to the negative fifth because it's the same coefficient. So now I know the equilibrium value for NO, right? 0 plus this is 3.3 times 10 to the negative fifth. Okay. Now we got to do the O2, but there's a little bit of an issue here. No problem, though. There's a 2 in front of here and a 1 in front of here. You see that. The coefficients are not the same. So can I just say that this would be plus 3.3 times 10 to the negative fifth? No, I can't because the ratio is not the same. So we have to find out what this number is going to be. Well, this is where we basically find out what the x was. Now keep in mind that this number is for two of these compounds, right? So I can say that for every two times a compound, I would get this number. And maybe what I'll do is I'll just move this over here. What you want to do is basically you want to solve for x because this technically was a 2x. This is a 2x because it's a 2 and a 2, but then this one would just be a 1x. That's why we have to solve for x. I'm going to divide by 2. And now this is the number that I'm going to use for this. So 3.3 times 10 to the negative fifth divided by 2 is 1.65 times 10 to the negative fifth. That's now my new change. So I'm going to add 1.65 times 10 to the negative fifth. And 0 plus that number is now 1.65 times 10 to the negative fifth. And look there, guys. Now I have all my equilibrium values. I'm going to use this and plug it into my equation. So let's write out our KC equation, plug in the numbers. And then we get the value. The hardest part is done, guys. Now we just go back to what we've been doing. So let's write out the specific formula for this KC equation. Products over reactants. And it looks like we got two products. We got NO. Now keep in mind, there's a 2 here. So I have to square this. And then I have an O2. That one is raised to the first, so I don't have to raise it to anything. And then this is divided by NO2. And that is raised to the second as well, because there's a 2 in front of there. Remember, you always raise it to the coefficients. Let's plug in those numbers now, right? So on the top, I get 3.3 times 10 to the negative fifth, and that's squared, times... 1.65 times 10 to the negative fifth. And then on the bottom, it seems like I got 0 0.999967, and that's squared as well. Let me just, whoop. let me see here. Let me just maybe, there we go. Let's get one number for the top, one number for the bottom, and then we just divide them out. All right, so what's our number for the top? We got 3.3 3 .3 times 10 to the negative fifth. That's squared. And then I'm going to times that by 1.65 times 10 to the negative fifth. I get a big, big number, right? In the calculator, uh, let's see. Maybe I'll try to extend some of the numbers. 1.79685 times 10 to the negative 14. So that was not without rounding. That was not rounding. Just make sure, guys, 
you want to try to, res- you know, don't round if you can, you know, until the final answer. Only round at the final answer. So 1.79685, and then we got 0.999967, that's squared. Whoa. To show on the screen, I'll try to extend this out as much as I can. 99, nine, there's four nines here. Three, four, that should do it. And then finally we just divide. So maybe I'll just throw this up a little bit closer, this kind of two, and then I'll put it right here for you guys. Bottom and center. The first number divided by 0.99934. I look back at my problem. If we do care about sig figs, I see that I have three sig figs here. I got two sig figs here. So let's say two sig figs, 1.8 times 10 to the negative 14th. And that kind of makes sense. Remember, KCs with really, really, really low numbers, which is what we have here, means that at equilibrium, you have mostly react and not barely any products. Look at the difference in these numbers. I didn't even really do anything to this. So our our answer kind of checks out. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Give this video a like if it did help you. Just gets the word back to me that, you know, I'm doing my job here, right? And if you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button. Thank you so much, and I will see you all in later lessons. Okie dokie. Bye-bye.